Hi again, Mark Hoffmeyer, Sales Performance Coach. I want to talk to you today about maintaining a positive attitude. Sales presents any number of particular challenges, doesn't it? Uh, it's tough, tough to stay on top of it. Easy to get discouraged, right? Well, let me ask you a question. Which do you see? Do you see rejection or do you see opportunity? Let me remind you of that old Thomas Edison quote. It's not that I failed a thousand times. It's just that I tried a thousand times to get closer to the solution I was looking for. One of the things that we can do in our sales experience is continually learn and improve. What if a customer says no? Is that a rejection? Not necessarily. Let's ask a few questions first. How specifically did you identify that customer's needs? If you've identified a need, you might have a possible solution to that need. Objection isn't necessarily only price or price alone. And if it is, did you build sufficient value into your product or service? Let me ask you a couple other questions. Did you ask for a follow-up phone call to your initial one? Did you ask for a referral? Anytime you deal with a customer, it's always, it's always uh, absolutely pertinent and appropriate to ask for a referral. You know what the best antidote to depression is? Action. Take action steps. And remember, I think probably the three easiest rules to feeling good and maintaining a positive attitude are eat well, get plenty of rest, and exercise. And then make that next phone call. You'll see what a little bit of action can do. Mark Hoffmeyer, Sales Performance Coach, saying keep that attitude together.